All right, okay, I think we're shared. Um, I have got so much. Uh, what is that, Becky? I'll get found out if I turn on the sound, but I'm watching. <laughs> All right, keep it quiet. Shh, we don't want anybody to know. All right, this is the card we're going to make today when we craft together. And I'm going to take a few minutes to just get caught up. If you've been hanging around the blog, you know that I am... Um, in catch-up mode. I've been in catch-up mode since the first of the year. And so we're going to start with a couple of items of housekeeping. And I'm going to use Facebook Live as my shameless um, platform to market because I have been really um, just sorry marketing. It's bad. I got so much going on and nobody knows about it. So let's start with this card. This card is the card for coffee in a card on Let's see here. Here's a current class schedule. This is coffee and a card for January 17th. So if you live in the Chicago area and you'd like to come and join me for coffee and a card, it's 10 a.m. to noon. It's a drop in. Um, give me a call or a Facebook message if you need some details, but all adult Chicago area stampers are welcome. Coffee and a card. We make this card. We have some coffee. We hang out together. It's $5 or it's free with a minimum order. I have a class Monday. It's the Sure Do Love You Stamp a Stack class. Class alone is $18 here in my Rolling Meadows home studio or $78 with a bundle, which means that you get the class for half price. And these are the cards that we're gonna make Monday. I haven't cut the class yet, so you can still join me by emailing me, marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. So we're gonna make two of each of these designs. I love this one. And the stamp -a stack is $18. You can take the class online for $15 if you're not local. Go to kitchentablestamper.com slash online classroom for all the details. And if you purchase the Sure Do Love You bundle, the ribbon that we're using for this class, the class all together, it's $78, and you get the Sure Do Love You rubber clear mount stamp set and the Lots to Love box framelits that coordinate. All right, so that's Monday the 15th. If you still want to join me, I'm on catch-up mode, so I haven't cut yet. Just give me a holler. And then the last one I want to bring your attention to is January 25th. We have paper and ink cards. And um, you'll see these cards on the blog with tutorials. But if you live in the Chicago area and you'd like to join us, paper and ink cards is four cards, $15. It's free with a minimum purchase. Your best minimum or your best Stampin' Up! order qualifies you for the cards for free. We're going to make one each of these fun cards. That's January 25th in my Rolling Meadows home studio. All right, I'm doing what I can to get caught up. I'll try and get all this stuff on the calendar page as soon as possible, but since Facebook Live is so flowy, I thought I'd just bring those to your attention. All right, now back to this card. This is coffee in a card for Wednesday the 17th, and the Stampin' Up! supplies that I use to make this card include the Heart Happiness Stamp Set, which coordinates with the Lots to Love box framelits, and it coordinates with the Sweet and Sassy framelits. All right, and then we're going to use those Sweet and Sassy framelits, as well as Party Pandas. This is a brand new celebration set. You cannot buy this stamp set. You can only get it for free when you place your $50 order from me. All right, let's see here. Stampin' pads for the project. I've got Berry Burst, Pool Party, and Basic Black. Isn't that a great color combination? Um, some more tools. I have this brand new scallop circle. I better be careful if you if I get the angle right, then you can see me wearing my Superman hat. I'm cold today. This is the one and three eighths inch scallop punch from the brand new Occasions catalog. And we're gonna use the one and a quarter inch circle punch. I have some black baker's twine here. That's the basic black. And then our pieces, uh, 
I'm so sorry to say this, but I do not have the measurements handy, but I will put a project sheet on the blog. I'll archive this video, and then below the archive video on the blog, there will be a um, printable project sheet with the actual measurements that you need for this project. That way I don't have to pull out a ruler and measure in front of you. I can tell you that our card base is pool party, and it's five and a half by eight and a half, and it's scored already at four and a quarter. I have basic black for my mat and some Whisper White for stamping my Panda. I'll give you the sizes of those on the project sheet. I have some um, designer series paper, and this is from the Picture Perfect Party six by six stack. I've got some of that stack right here. Um, I've really used this up. I'm waiting for another package to come, but let me show you some of the patterns in this six by six stack. It's awesome. All right, so here's the little confetti pattern that I used on this one. And it's got the photo reel on the other side, which is really kind of cool, I think. The B side is a fun graphic pattern, and the A side is that photo reel. Here we've got a fun confetti pattern. That's the photo reel. And then on this side, we have a little lemon line twist with plus signs. Here's the B side, peekaboo peach with little asterisks. Isn't this gorgeous paper? And look at, look at the A side. Isn't that fun? All right, we've got these polka dots, the pool party background with the peekaboo peach and berry burst. And this is one of my favorite sheets in the pack. It's got all these fun little um, confetti and fringe and what are these called? Streamers. That's it. And then this berry burst with the little carrot signs has got a photo reel confetti on the back. And then this. This is so 80s to me. The triangles. And then I love this piece too with the candles. All right, so that's the paper, designer series paper we're using. We're using this kind of um, diagonal um, stripe piece. And on the back was noisemakers. I left that over by the trimmer. All right, so that's, that's our consumable pieces. You also need a scrap of Whisper White for your greeting, a scrap of Bermuda Bay for your scallop layer and a scrap of um, berry burst to make this fun dimensional balloon element. All right, let's get stamping. I'm going to grab my stamp and pierce mat and some ink pads here and we'll get going. So it was like 57 degrees yesterday and it is now like 20 some degrees and I'm freezing to death. I'm standing here doing Facebook Live with a Superman ski cap on my head because I'm so cold. So it turned out my basic black ink pad was really craft white. I had to go get the basic black. All right, we're gonna start with the Berry Burst and Berry Burst ink and we're gonna stamp three of these hearts that look like they've got shutters. I don't know. They look like those crazy heart-shaped sunglasses that have like the blinds across the front of them. We'll do three of those and then set it aside to dry for a minute then we'll die cut it. Uh, I've got my Bermuda Bay scrap and scallop circle punch. Pop that out. My scrap of Whisper White, I'm going to take this uh, You Warm My Heart greeting. Oh, I didn't grab that stamp set. Disappeared on you for a minute there. I had to go turn off the furnace. I was just talking about how cold it is. Um, you Warm My Heart comes from Lovely Wishes, which is a brand new Stampin' Up set. Um, you can get this one from the New Occasions catalog. If you don't have the New Occasions catalog or the Celebration catalog, please let me know. I'd be happy to get you one. I just ordered some more today, so. Um, give me an email or a text if you need one. Come by and pick one up if you're local. All right, you warm my heart. Now I'm going to pop that out with a one and a quarter inch circle punch. And it's kind of a close fit, so check carefully before you punch. And then let's stamp our little panda dude. Love this guy. So I've got my party panda 
a little freebie. I love this stamp set. How do you go wrong for free? And you want to really ink him up well so you get that strong black image. Make sure your ink pad is um, inked very well also. And you're going to stamp him kind of off the left just a little bit and low on the paper because you don't want that balloon to float too far away. Ooh, I'm getting a glare here. Hi, Kathy. It's good to see you. Thank you. I'm using the new Party Pandas that are free with a celebration order. $50 and the Party Pandas can be yours for free. Isn't he adorable? All right. Now, because Valentine's Day is coming up, we're going to make kind of a dimensional heart-shaped balloon for him instead of that little circle one that he comes with. Although this is adorable and would be a really cute paper piece with any of these patterns from the um, Picture Perfect Party Paper. Say that three times fast. Okay. Here's where I wish I had an assistant to show some of my cards from upcoming classes again because I'm going to put the big shot or bring the big shot in and we're going to cut all three of those. So it's going to take just a second. I've got my big shot here and it is set up. Ha! Somebody sent me a heart. How cute is that? Was that you, Kathy? All right. We're going to die cut each of these little hearts out using this Sweet and Sassy Framelits set. I love these Sweet and Sassy dies. They have the hearts that, you know, kind of have this little curvy, I call that kind of a romantic heart. And then they have the hearts that have the smooth sides too, more of like a geometrical heart, and you get bunches of hearts all in one set. It's really a fantastic die set and a forever tool. We're gonna take this second smallest of the curvy ones, see here's the smallest, second smallest, and that coordinates with that stamp from the Heart Happiness stamp set and the Occasions catalog. It actually coordinates with both of these. And then you can use the one bigger size for this polka dot heart. Um, these coordinate with, uh, I guess these would be the, the sweet hearts and these would be the sassy ones in my opinion. So these coordinate with the sweet ones and these coordinate with the sassy ones. And then the long kind of primitive one, you can find that in the lots to love box framelits. Okay, let me get to cutting these out. We can chat while I do it. And let's see if I got a little piece of washi tape hanging around here somewhere. Don't want to take any chances. Okay. 27 rolls of washi tape, and I had to cross the room to get one. But it's better than having to restamp. All right, so three times we're going to cut this little dude. So, in case you're just joining me, I've seen some people comment, some people go. Um, I've got a couple of other card samples here from classes that are coming up. I've been on catch-up mode ever since the holidays, and um, I have some really great classes coming up, but I have not been very good about getting my blog calendar updated and sending an email. So I'm going to show you some really cute samples that are coming up in my card classes for the rest of January. Also, um, I am going to have an occasions and celebration kickoff event, but that'll be early in February because I've been working on a really fun sample swap with some other demonstrators where we're making the actual samples from the catalog so that I'll have them in real life at the kickoff event. So look out for that date coming in early February. So if you live in the Chicago area and you want to kick off the occasions catalog with me, I'll be posting about that on the blog, probably talking about it on Facebook Live in the next couple of times, too. All right, so we've done all of our die cutting. Let me get this out of the way. 
And I'm going to bring my stamp and pierce mat back in here for just a minute and get my bone folder because what we'll do is we'll go from the cleavage of the heart here down to the bottom point and just trace a little line in there. You're using kind of moderate pressure and scoring each of these three hearts. I'll show you how to make this fun little dimensional balloon element. And the fun part is, is this folds right flat so that when you put it in the envelope, you can mail it in an ordinary medium Stampin' Up! envelope. All right, so little assembly here. I love that there's, oh, and a little more Stampin' too. I did some hearts on the background, so we're gonna have to get our Stampin' Pierce mat back in here and do that. All right, work the crease with the bone folder. Let me grab that Stampin' Pierce mat. And I've got pool party ink hanging around with me somewhere. Here's this little watercolor hearts. It's this image from the heart happiness. They look like little floating watercolor hearts. And we're gonna stamp them with some pool party. And I put them so that they look like they're floating up from left to right and let them kind of organically flow off the top of the card here. So stamp, I don't know, three or four times. So that they look like they're floating up. Pool party on pool party. Eh, I might do a few more right here. Okay, so there's my little background. This is the card that we are going to make at Coffee and a Card on Wednesday, January 17th in my Rolling Meadows home studio. So if you're local and you want to come make this one, you're more than welcome. All, ador all adult crafters are welcome. Just put a little snail adhesive and adhere to the basic black mat. Dimensions for this project will be at kitchentablestamper.com on the blog. And then I'm going to just slide this little guy underneath here. I think my pattern paper might be a little bit longer than my Whisper White. It might require a little surgical procedure. Okay. I'm trying to split the difference because it is just a little bit long and that's not working. Get it all to one side and then I'll give it a trim. Isn't he a cutie? Oh my goodness, I love him. And see, my paper's a little long, so I'm going to just trim it up here. Live video. I would probably edit that out if I was on YouTube right now. Then you wouldn't know that I cut my layers crooked every once in a while. We all do, right? All right, there's my little cutie. Now... You warm my heart needs a dimensional. Center it on the little scallop. Now my hearts, where are they? There they are. We're going to take that little line that we scored and fold each of these hearts so that the stamped pattern that we did is on the inside. You want to get as close to center as you can. Finesse that line a little bit if you have to. And this one's a little off center. Now, what we'll do here is using multi-purpose liquid glue, we're going to take one of our hearts to be the center one and add a little bit of glue. Mm. All right. Multi-purpose liquid glue. I love this stuff, but you got to keep a pin handy because sometimes it just globs up in there. All right, it should be clear. Yep, I hear it. Okay. Ever squeeze the bottle of glue and say to yourself, this is not going to end well? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to just spread that glue around a little bit and then adhere the one without the glue. That way we don't have too much. See? You can solve the too much glue problem that way. 
So I glue my hearts. See, there's the back and the front. Now I'm going to take this center one, fold it up, and then bring this little guy with the multi-purpose liquid glue and attach him. Oh, look at that. I put it on the wrong side. We're going to attach him here. So we need a little more glue. Oh my goodness, the glue is just flowing generous around here now. Okay, then we'll need some liquid glue here. Let me show you what we've got. So this is the back side of our heart. We've got the glue on there. And this is the front side of our heart. See, we've made the little dimensional. And we'll go ahead and adhere our heart right over the balloon string. So we cover that little circular balloon. Oh my goodness, he's cute. Ah, thumbs up, thank you. Even though I had glue malfunction, you guys are so generous. <laughs> Live video, it's hysterical. All right, so let's get this card finished up. Not too much to do now other than get some adhesive on there. So for sending this in the envelope, in case you're just joining me, you can send this through the post office. You just flatten down the little heart and pop it in the envelope. And then when it comes out, your recipient can flap it right back up. All right. So we're going to flatten that out, turn to the back, and get some snail adhesive on the back of our panda panel. I like it to tilt up like our little guy is just floating. Grab some snail on the back. Is that Rhonda Cole I see? Hi, Rhonda. It's been a long time. I hope you're well. And Jen, hey, Jen. We should stamp via Facebook video messenger. What's your weekend like? Let me know, okay? I'm stamping a little bit today and tomorrow. Okay, so I'm back to my black baker's twine here, and I'm just gonna tie off a little bow. Maybe that's too little, hold on. Sometimes I get uh, real hopeful. We're gonna give a little longer tail than that. There we go. Cute little Baker's twine bow. I got kind of big loops on it. I liked it that way. And we'll cut off the excess. Now I have the mini glue dot here, and I'm going to fold it in half. I've got the tip of my scissors. I'm just going to fold it in half, and then put it at the bottom at the base of my little balloon embellishment. And then I'm gonna pop that little bow right into the glue dot. Yeah, my tails are uneven. I think it needs a little finesse. I'll play with it a little bit. Not too bad. Trim this tail a little bit. Ta-da! There they are. Party pandas, you warm my heart. All right, again, coffee and a card on January 17th. That is Wednesday. You can join me here in my Rolling Meadows home studio and make one of these. If you're interested in joining me on Monday, January 15th, for the Sure Do Love You stamp -a stack, we'll make two of these. And we'll make two of these. And this one's kind of fun. Let me show you that just in case you're just joining me. And we'll make two of these. Class is $18. It's $8 if you buy the bundle and the ribbon. So for a total of $78, you can have the bundle, the stamp -a stack class with six cards, um, the ribbon, and some of this bubble and fizz paper. This is another celebration item. Do you have celebration catalogs? If you don't have the celebration flyer or brochure and the occasions catalog, email me. I'll get them in your hands. And then last, one more time, January 25th is paper and ink cards. It's $15 or free with a, your best order that night. And these are cards that I'll do for blog posts. So the sheets will be, the project sheets will be on the blog over the next month or so. I love this. I love anything punny 
They make a great pair. This little, you're so kind, or you're one of a kind. You are one of a kind. And I love, you're truly amazing. All right, so it's paper and ink. If you got any questions about the project that we did today, about Kitchen Table Stamper and the classes that I offer, um, email me, marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. All right, guys, got any questions about the project or celebration occasions? Hey, thanks, Kathy. All right, if you guys don't have questions, my stomach's growling. I'm going to go get a sandwich. I'm hungry. Thanks for watching. Reach out if you need anything. Let me know how I can help you stay crafty. I just saw a heart. Thank you. All right, guys, have a great weekend. Thanks for watching.